I find it all very creepy. Other than rolling around once in a while, it doesn't do anything useful as far as I can tell. I don't know why it took an interest in you, but I'd be careful. It's never helped anyone before. Fine by me. Mostly traders looking to buy bighorn or meat and hides. The traders are the main reason the general store manages to stay in business. Most travelers heading south on the I-15 just push on towards Prim, unless they're in desperate need of supplies. He's a convict, just without the chains. Said his name was Cobb. Powder gangers is what they call themselves. Plenty more like him out there. The New California Republic's got the most power in Nevada. Money, troops, you name it. They do what they can to keep things safe in the region. But if you ask me, they're trying to do too much. They're spread too thin. That's a lot of information. I'm pretty sure the NCR wants to hold on to the dam because it's one of the few places around that can make electricity. The Legion are a bunch of savages, though. No idea why they'd want the dam. Probably plan on destroying it or something. Slavers, killers, and all other kinds of trouble. They dress up like Roman soldiers, so there's no mistake in it when you see them. The rumor is, is that the Legion is far larger than the NCR lets on, and that it's been due to luck that the Legion hasn't overrun the territory. Well, we're gonna change that. Aren't I'm we? sure I've got something you like. Good, I can dump some of my garbage. Absent, ooh. <laughs> Moonshine, purified water. Okay, just a bunch. I'll just take the. That's expensive. Thanks. Be careful out there. No, I sure will. Yay, I level up. Confirmed bachelor and lady killer. <laughs> uh, I guess this is good because uh, in Fallout 3, when you played as a man, you would get lady killer, and if you played as a woman, you would have the opposite, whatever that was. And lady killer wasn't always that good because you didn't meet that many women in the game. So it's interesting that they added, you know, this thing where you get bonus for killing male opponents, etc. Unique dialogue. Uh, but for now, I'm going to focus on intense training and swift learner.
so that I can just increase my skills. And now I hope that I hope the repair skill was well hopefully I increased it sufficiently enough to fix it. A twenty or greater. tip if you uh, hack the terminal you get this little safe open which I'm gonna try doing and it's gonna take a while so yeah yeah hacked it Keep losing karma. This is what I'm talking about. Ammo. Go to Prim. Minor dehydration. God damn it. Goes really fast. all of my water man it's not good okay. so this guy is obviously sleeping ooh cash register Hello. Oh 
Just going to borrow his shovel. Hello, I need your shovel, mate. God damn it. There's a couple of graves I want to dig out. How do How do I take the shovel? Maybe I have to talk to you after all. Hello, Chet. Wake up. Wake the fuck up. You must be the one Doc Mitchell was patching up. Why? Well, yes. I didn't think you'd be walking out of that office. I've got plenty of supplies for sale. Even got some weapon mods and special ammo. Well worth the caps, if you ask me. If you're hurting for caps, I've also got boxes of surplus ammo in the miscellaneous section. They're not great, but you get what you pay for. Weapon mods are things like silencers, scopes, bigger magazines. Special ammo includes things like armor-piercing bullets, which don't hurt the target as much, but let you punch through armor easier. There's also hollow point bullets, which have the opposite effect. You can kill unarmored targets easier, but they don't do shit against armor. It's all about quantity over quality. Trouble is, you'll be cleaning and fixing your gun a lot more than usual when you use those kind of bullets. If Ringo doesn't head out on his own, I think we should hand him over. The town shouldn't get itself mixed into the problem. Don't mistake that for coward talk, though. We're a town of survivors. We'll fight tooth and nail if pushed, but we don't go looking for trouble. The leader was a New Vegas type. Typical city boy. He had a bunch of great cons with him, probably hired guns. The great cons normally stay in their own territory way up northwest, on account of them being enemies with the NCR. Twice. Both times I drank a lot of liquor and lost most of my caps at the card tables. In that order, now that I think about it. If you ever get to New Vegas, be sure to visit Gamora. It's the best casino in the city. You won't regret it. Word of advice. Behave. Between the NCR military police and Mr. House's robots, you don't want to be causing trouble on the strip. I'm afraid I don't know much myself. Mr. House has got his own casino, Lucky 38, but nobody goes in or out except his robots. The other casinos follow Mr. House's rules, so I guess that makes him the leader of New Vegas. As far as I know, nobody's ever laid eyes on the guy. I think that robot who pulled you out of the dirt belongs to Mr. House. If Mr. House is looking after you, it's got to be a good thing, right? I sure hope so. They're tough sons of bitches. Mean, but not crazy. They'll leave you alone unless you got something they want. The Great Cons deal in illegal chems. There's a good chance that most chems you come across were made by Great Cons. Can do. I need a shovel. Do you have a shovel? Oh, look at this. Thanks. Bye bye. Take it easy now. Epic. I have my shovel. I'm gonna dig me some graves. Good. 